Changing your name servers is something you need to do if your domain is registered in one place and your hosting is somewhere else. It's actually recommended that you don't keep your domain and hosting with the same company because if one of them stops working, you lose both the site and the name, which leaves you no room to come up with a temporary fix. Your current domain servers, also known as DNS, are set to name silo servers. So we need to go back to name silo and tell them to point to your site ground host so the blog you put up will be able to be seen at your domain. Clear as mud, perhaps. Well, you probably don't need to know all that, but in case you were wondering. First, we go to SiteGround and get your DNS address. So go to SiteGround and log in with your SiteGround cPanel name and password. You wrote it down, right? Once you've logged in, go to My Accounts, then click on the Go to cPanel button. It may ask you if you want to log in securely, and you can go ahead and say yes. Your account information is on the left side of the screen. You want to copy the name server information down. There will be two of them listed and they should start with NS1 and NS2. And next you can log out and we'll go to namesilo.com. Log in and look for the domain manager on the right side of the screen and click on that. You will see your domain name listed and you can click in the box to the left of the name. Next, click on the change name servers at the top of the screen. There will be three name servers listed, but you will only be using two. That's all you need. So add the NS1 name to the name server one spot and the NS2 name to the name server two place. Delete the NS3 name completely so the box is empty. Click on submit and log out of name silo. It can take up to 48 hours for this change to show up. To find out if your site is ready to be transformed, go to the top of your browser, if you're using Internet Explorer or Chrome or Firefox, and type your domain name into it. If you get an error message like this one, then it's not ready yet. If you see a blog page with WordPress and SiteGround in the name, then you're good to go.